Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Shane and today I am doing my May favorites. <laughs> I couldn't remember what month we were in for just a second. So originally I was gonna do another color series video like I did for last month, but this month I have recently picked up a few new products that I really wanted to show you and that I'm really excited about. Now this video isn't going to be terribly long because I really don't have a ton to show you but I felt like I had a pretty good handful. So with that said, let's get started. So as always, I'll start with my makeup products. So I have four lip products and then one face product. So we'll start with the face product. So my first favorite of the month is this Benefits Professional Matte Rescue Primer. Now I had run out of my Kat Von D Featherweight Primer. Um, I, I love that primer. It, it's exactly what it says. It's super uh, featherweight, super light on the skin, but I've always been a fan of Benefit primers. I don't know, I just always felt like, like the professional one I was completely obsessed with. So when I saw that they were coming out with a matte one, which I'm obsessed with anything matte, I had to jump on it. And I'm really, really happy with it. So the formula looks very different than the original uh, professional instead of the kind of how do you even explain <laughs> that primer? It was like a light tan... <laughs> I don't know, it was a light tan primer, but this is like a light blue jelly almost. Um, super cool to the touch, and it takes a little bit longer to dry than the original Professional, but really, that, that's, that's fine. But I just, I feel like this primer definitely blurs out any imperfections, especially my pores. I usually tend to have bigger pores here and bigger pores here, and I've definitely noticed a difference by going back to a Benefit primer. Now the other four makeup products I have are actually all lipstick products, and I'm, you guys are probably so beyond tired of hearing about these. But I have three of the NYX lingerie colors. Now, if a swatching video of these has not come out already, it's coming. So if you, you know, want to hear more about it, I promise that video is either up or will be up. But there were three colors that I have been absolutely in love with. The first one is called Ruffle Trim number four. Uh, then I have Bedtime Flirt, which I'm actually wearing right now, which is number eight, and I'm wearing number 12, Exotic. Now, if you guys have been following my vlogs for really any period of time over the past couple of months, you guys know how much trouble I went into to get my hands on all of these, so that freaking swatching video better get like a million views. No, I'm totally kidding, but I put so much work into getting these uh, lipsticks. I went to so many different Ulta's, I traveled to so many different um, places just trying to find uh, actually these two colors, I believe. Uh, yes, Bedtime Flirt and Exotic. These two were sold out <laughs> everywhere. I checked, like I even went so far as to like ask every Ulta around me when their stocking date was so that I could go on their stocking date and get these but they didn't really stock up on these colors very often so it was super easy to get my hands on all of them um, including ruffle trim here I went like on one trip and they were all pretty much there these two I had to order online so I highly recommend if you're having a hard time finding these in your store as well. I would just order them online. It took eight days to get to me though, which is a little bit lengthy, but what can you expect? They usually tell you to expect between seven to 10 days delivery. But I just, I love these so much. I feel like I've talked about them so much as well. And for the longest time, any of NYX's lip products in general, I just didn't, like I didn't like their lip liners, I didn't like their butter glosses, I was like none of these last or they're super streaky or there was just something wrong with all their lip products that I tried and then I saw on I think actually Trisha Paytas's favorite video, maybe her April favorites, um, that she really liked these and I was like okay let's go give them a try. They're matte lipsticks, what you know, they're cheap enough that if I buy one I'll never buy one again. 
I bought all 12 after I tried one for the first time. They last so, so long with a lip liner because they don't last as long without one. But I'm just completely obsessed about them. But I don't want to ramble too long because there is a whole nother video dedicated to these. But there was no way I couldn't include these in my favorites. So the last makeup product that I have is a lip liner. And you're probably like, uh, we've seen that before, Chica. No, you haven't. <laughs> Well, you have in my recent vlogs, but this is from Palladio, which is my favorite lip liner ever, but this one is actually in the color Nearly Nude, so I'm wearing this one right now with a uh, Bedtime Flirt, which is, nope, that's Ruffle Tram, a uh, Bedtime Flirt right here, and they're almost identical in colors. Like, I always fill in my lips and then... I always outline my lips and then fill them in with the lip liner and then I went right over it with this color and it was almost like they were so similar. I was like, I think they're the exact same color. So currently, this is my favorite lip combo, but I just love, love Palladio in general. And you can find Palladio at Ulta's or you can find them at Sally's. All right, moving on, I have one hair product, and this product actually isn't a new product. It's an old, old, old favorite. I've had this product forever. So recently, I've been really, really trying to take really good care of my hair. I've been trying to do minimal damage, but the problem with my hair is that it just tends to be naturally really, really frizzy and really, really dry. So I was just trying to find a product to help me smooth it out without having to blow dry it like every single day and blow it out. So I pulled this out of my cabinet in my upstairs bathroom and it's from Garnier Fructis. It's the Sleek and Shine Intensely Smooth Leave-In Conditioning Cream. I love this stuff. Um, now before I style my hair every day, I'll take a little bit and run it through my hair and then comb it out. One, it just smells amazing. Oh my goodness, it smells almost like cucumbers I want to say it just oh the smell is absolutely amazing and it just makes my hair so much smoother and it helps really really tame the frizz and it's super inexpensive because it's a drugstore product okay so I have a couple of like bath products and then I have a couple miscellaneous so the bath products you have seen actually I think all three of these because two are kind of older favorites again that I don't think I ever included in my favorite and then one is a brand new one so who remembers this who remembers this this came from my basin white haul and believe it or not I just finally took the wrapper off because my house has just still been under construction so I had no real place to put it I'm like well I don't want to take the plastic off just for it to get ruined so just today actually no no not today hello a couple days ago um, I took this off and it's just it smells so good you wouldn't expect it to but it actually smells like peppermint like it, it smells like a candy cane and I, I totally did not expect the smell just because of the way it looks it has two lovebirds with a whole bunch of hearts around it but how freaking cute is this <laughs> like basin has a whole bunch of different hand soaps with all different designs and I honestly think I'm just gonna go and order a bunch of these and kind of swap them out with the seasons or just with my mood if I, just, I get tired of one and want to put a new one out because a they're inexpensive and b they're so flipping cute and c they smell so damn good so I just use these as hand soaps in my bathroom I gotta get a um a dish like a soap dish for it um so I don't have it on display right at the moment but I am obsessed with these all right we'll do the older favorite as well but I did a whole video on this as well but I don't think I ever included it in a favorites and if I did I apologize I really do but I've been using this quite often it's the Eliza Vecca milky piggy carbonated bubble clay mask again I did a whole video on it I did a whole this like how to use it this stuff is just so much fun because it's it's carbonated so you put it on so you screw it off and it comes with this plastic piece which actually had a spatula which is in my bathroom but you just pop off the top like that and it's just like this gray 
sort of mask and you use a little spatula to spread it all over your face and within a minute or so it starts to like foam up and your entire face is just covered in foam like it's so much fun the only downfall to this product is that it kind of itches so if you put it around your nose like right here might start itching it's just like it kind of tickles your face a little bit but I, oh, I think it's just such a fun product to use, especially if you have like girlfriends or even guy friends, whatever, have a sleepover and someone has this product. I think it's just so much fun to like have facials and do the clay mask. All right, my last favorite that is like anything beauty related is brand new and it's Refresher Shower Jelly from Lush. So recently, it was so sad, but I ran out of my Nightwing shower jelly that I got during Halloween in like one of those little Halloween baskets, um, and I loved it. I loved the smell of it. I thought the idea of a shower jelly was just so much fun. It's just a fun product to use. But when I ran out of it, I was like, man, I gotta go get another one. So this is the scent that I chose. So it's the Refresher refresh your body and mind with a zingy and invigorating treat for the shower super 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 lemony scented so if you don't like if you don't like lemon or citrus of any sort you're probably not gonna like this but it's just this bright yellow color and the second I took off the cap all I can smell is lemon and that's why I'm saying you better like lemon if you get this oh I love shower jellies and they're so jiggly and wiggly but I had to include this in this month's favorite because I look forward to my showers now even more just to be able to smell like lemon. All right, we're already on our last two items that I'm gonna show you. I told you this wasn't gonna be a super long favorite, so I didn't have a ton of product, uh, but they're both actually pieces of jewelry and you also have probably seen them this month. But the first one that I should be wearing today, but I'm not, uh, this was the first necklace that I got from Hot Topic. So it says red crystal, but I love the fact that there's a dragon wrapped around it. Now I explained in the vlog that I kind of unboxed this is why I bought it. A, I love dragons. I've always thought they were so amazing. I've always been fascinated with like mis uh, mythical creatures and stuff and dragons have always just been up there for me. But one of the other reasons that I was so drawn to this necklace in particular is I'm a huge, huge World of Warcraft fan. I haven't been able to play though just because of my computer. It just... It, it is not gonna happen. But I am obsessed with blood elves. I love the night elves and I love the blood elves. But when I saw this, I was like, that looks like something a blood elf would wear. And of course I had to buy it. And the second one I also showed on a vlog. Um, I desperately wish it had a dragon on it, but it doesn't. But instead of the black and red, we have silver and then this almost, um, what's the word? I used it not long ago. <laughs> I don't know. I don't I can't remember the word that I use to describe this crystal, but it's just like a blue metallic-y. That's not the word I want to use, but it is kind of metallic-y, blue green crystal. And I'll usually wear it like that, so that's showing in the front. But I've been completely obsessed with these necklaces. If I'm usually wearing something that will match, I'll usually throw it on today. I just happen to not. But that's gonna be it you guys for this month of May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please go ahead and leave a big thumbs up. You can also go ahead and hit that little subscribe button down below if you don't want to miss any new videos. And thank you again so much for watching and hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!